Hello everyone, I'm back to share um, another couple notebooks I made from the Kaisercraft Frosted Collection. In my previous video I showed you some smaller sizes that I did. I do have two left in my shop that I just finished and this is a B6, B6 Slim and a standard traveler's notebook size. I'll start with the B6. There is a little charm. It's uh, all collaged on the front with some little tickets in the front. Exactly the same setup um, as my other ones. Just, you know, different variation of the papers. Lots of little bling. It's got silver, lots of silvers and blues. It's uh, These ones I've reinforced with a cloth, like a muslin cotton type cloth there on the binding. So it's nice and sturdy because the paper's quite heavy and I wanted to make sure that it was you know, going to stand the width, of, stand up to time because these are kind of a keepsake when you do your December daily you want something that's going to last for years to come even if you only put one Christmas in it or you could put two Christmases in it. Um, anyway, I'll just uh, get right in here. The front pocket has some journaling tag here. This is Peace. Um, there's a this Christmas plate here, you could put the year or what it is you're writing about exactly and some little, you know, phrases here to use within your journal. This is, um, it's like a vellum paper but it's very metallic looking. It's a little bit different texture than vellum. This has a charm, little bells. So in the, if you've seen the previous video, I used this blue ribbon and I've stamped from the collection as well. There's some more ephemera cards and I stayed all true to the, the collection of this paper. I didn't add anything extra and I used all my sheets of my vintage ledger paper that I had. I had this uh, envelope for my stash, it's got like a metallic it. It's like a burgundy-ish red. I've just put like some stationary type tea dyed paper in there for notes. Next to this uh, vintage music note paper, I have punched snowflake. These little charms are going to be noisy. I just loved the tabs with this collection. It went really so pretty. There's a bag here with some ephemera in it to use in your journaling. Or on some gifts. You could use them as tags on your gifts through the holidays. Um, there's another style of um, vintage ledger paper that I've got. There is a writing tag. This is some craft paper. A few pieces of tea dyed paper. There's a stamp that I've stamped from the, the collection, the, the, mat, the corresponding stamp uh, set that came with the, well it didn't come with it but I, I bought to match the collection. There's some photo pockets. Few little tags I made out of some of the scraps. I've used up quite a bit of the paper collection. Um, I don't, I didn't really have enough to make another one, but I definitely got quite a few out of the one pad with the ephemera collection with it. I had a lot of fun doing the blues and silvers for something different than the traditional. Um, Christmas colors. Some more stuff left over from the collection. There's a little tuck. The washi I've just had him in my stash. I just thought that uh, it would kind of be fun to just throw a little bit of different colors in there. So this is a, a B6 Slim and uh, it gives you lots of writing space. And lots of little things to add in your journaling. There's lots of room in a B6. This is my favorite size. I have a Chic Sparrow notebook. 
that, uh, oh, I forgot to add a ephemera card in there. There is something that goes in there. And then there's the back. It's got lots of browns and blues and silver and this sort of vintage antique color. Okay, and then here is the TN standard size. Again, it has a um, snowflake charm. It's got lots of little bling. And uh, these are epoxy. This one has the little vintage ladies. I hope it will show up, but it's very shiny and protective. It's like a, it looks like enamel or something. But this one has a little girl at a tree there, in front of the Christmas tree. Um, and then of course there's little tickets in the front here. They certainly look good without the tickets in there. Just lots of bling on this one too. This, I love that paper. And it's reinforced with the cloth, again. And lots of tabs. Oh, and there's another charm here. The same charm. That's all. Good. This one's Christmas blessings. Okay. Some cards in there. This is our Christmas story. A little tuck spot there. This is uh, a vellum. Pardon my nails, guys. I they took a beating this weekend. I've been working really hard at a lot of different uh, projects. So. This paper was really nice too. It's got a real antique look to it. The stamping, um, vintage ledger. I didn't attach a lot of the ephemera. Some of it is attached and some of it isn't. These are definitely, I've added lots of little things in here. A lot of the cut out, um, the cut off pieces of the vintage ledger can make notes with. Uh, more stick Christmas stickers, a label. There's a tuck spot there. Again, this music note paper. This has uh, some sorry silk ribbon on it. There's another little. And this one has a four photo pockets. With a little tag in there. Now I stole that from another Kaiser uh, Kaiser Craft collection. I have a lot of Kaisercraft Christmas stuff. This is Joy. There is some little ephemera in there, little tea dyed paper, note paper. And I've definitely added more goodies in here. This paper is kind of it's from the smaller pad and it's very shiny. Um, this page, this bluish paper here came from a Flow magazine. It's got it's a nice, uh, good quality paper there to write on. Here's another snowflake punch. I think it's a Martha Stewart punch I had. Like a bookmark type tag and it's got some sorry silk on it. There will be more than enough uh, pages to do, well, well over the month, to do a December daily in this, for sure. And then this one has some ephemera. I made a little notepad for note keeping. Some extra.
extra tea dye paper there. And there's the back. Um, this one here is spoken for, but I'll just show you. It's already sold the front cover anyway. It's got lots of bling. It just has a little Santa enamel epoxy. The same charm. There's the back. It's reinforced. It's pretty much, it's just a different variation of um, what the other ones were like. Anyway, these will be, if you're watching the video, then they've been put up in my shop. So if you're interested, um, I just wanted to mention to you that um, all of the prices in my shop are the price. I don't charge extra for shipping. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and getting geared up to um, Halloween as it's tomorrow night. So anyway, take care for now.